Welcome back to On The Rise with the latest Kahneman Tea news and there's been a Kahneman Tea done deal as Jaden Nelson, the highly rated Kahneman Tea youth talent and prospect, has finally made that switch abroad as Toronto FC have sold him to Norwegian first division side in Rosenborg. And this is an amazing deal for Jaden Nelson who is still only 20 years old and is an extremely versatile player who can play on either wing as well as a number 8 position or even at attacking midfield but predominantly on the wing. Jaden Nelson is a very highly rated Kahneman T youth talent and I rate him highly. This is an amazing move for Jaden Nelson, a huge move for his footballing career. Take that next step, go play in Europe and this is great for Canada as well to keep getting more youth prospects and more youth talent playing in Europe, especially abroad and those Scandinavian leagues are amazing at bringing through talent and selling them to better sides. As Jaden Nelson joins Rosenborg in the Norwegian First Division, this has been officially announced through Toronto FC guys. Guys, in this video, I'll be breaking down some reports, looking at what Jaden Nelson said, as well as com comments from Bob Bradley the other day as well. And we're also going to be doing a separate video on how I think Jaden Nelson will be fitting into Rosenborg and their system and where he might be utilized. But that will be for a separate video. Right now, guys, we're going to break down some reports with Bob Bradley, what Jaden Nelson, and how I feel about this transfer as well, guys. First of all, of course, Toronto FC have officially announced this transfer. Jaden Nelson did join Rosenborg. It's all been tweeted from Rosenborg. Everything is 100% official. It is a done deal. Through Jaden Nelson's career at Toronto FC, of course, a TFC Academy product did make 50 appearances for the first team throughout his whole time with the club. Of course, it's very unfortunate they did not get the best out of him. They didn't get him for a longer amount of time. But this is, of course, the best move for Jaden Nelson for his footballing career. It's always what he wanted to go play in Europe. And it's a great transfer. I absolutely love it as a TFC fan and as, of course, more predominantly a Canadian men's national team fan. This is brilliant for Jaden Nelson to go to a side in Rosenborg or even just the Norwegian Footballing League. The Scandinavian leagues are always amazing at producing top end quality talent, even if they just flip him for a couple extra mil to whether it's the Serie A, a Liga, or even the Bundesliga side. It's always going to be moved in the right direction, and I think it's going to help Jaden Nelson so much in his footballing career. I think he's chosen an amazing side, a great side that's always been amazing at producing some quality talent. Not saying that they produce sides like go to Man City, Manchester United, Liverpool, but that it's always been great at bringing through decent top quality talent. And I think they're going to do it with Jaden Nelson once again. Like I said, guys, at 20 years old, throughout his time at TFC, making 50 appearances with the first team, but the transfer fee they are raking in will be around 800000 to $1 million for Jaden Nelson. That is still a great piece of business. Of course, they did find that deal. They thought there was something on the table and they made it happen for Jaden Nelson. Of course, it's the best for both. Both parties involved. Jaden Nelson always looked to make a move abroad. He was always very interested. He did trial abroad, I'm pretty sure, last year as well. And there was always known known interest from Jaden Nelson that he did want to move abroad. He was always interested in going to play in Europe. And this is probably the best for all parties involved. They're getting a great sum of money. They're getting an amazing player out of this as well. And Jaden Nelson going to a side in Rosenborg is brilliant for his football and career as well, guys. Manuel Veff did tweet what Brawl Bradley did say, the TFC boss as well. As Bob Bradley did say this, quote, We knew Jaden always had the ambition to play in Europe, and when the right opportunity pre presented itself, we worked diligently with the player to secure the move. And that's amazing to hear, whether it's from a fan's perspective, a footballer's perspective, or just the hierarchy of TFC. That is always amazing to hear. It shows that they have the best interest for the player, as well as, of course, the club. Of course, the club doesn't want to keep around a player that doesn't want to be there, doesn't want to play with the club, or even wear the shirt anymore. Of course, Jaden Nelson loves Toronto FC. I'm not saying that. Jaden Nelson would probably always give his best for the club. Of course, being a TFC Academy product, he would always do that. But knowing the ambition is there, knowing he wants to go play in Europe, it's amazing to see that they got that done. They worked to get that transfer over the line for him. It shows that they have the best ambition, best thoughts involved for their for their footballers, for the Canadian players especially. And that is amazing to see from any perspective, especially a fan's perspective. And it's great to see for Jaden Nelson finally getting that movie he's always wanted. Jaden Nelson did tweet after the move saying, I'm really excited to start this new chapter of my footballing career. With Rosenborg, it's always been my dream to play in Europe and I couldn't have asked for 
for a better club to join at this stage in my career. I'm really excited to get to work now. Thank you for all the support. It's amazing to hear from Jaden Nelson. Of course, this is a great move. I love Jaden Nelson as a footballer. I highly rate him, and I think he has an amazing footballing career ahead of him, especially with the Canadian men's national team. I think he is a great talent that we can very much use, and especially with his versatility. Of course, if you watch Toronto, I've seen in the past couple of years, he was versatile. He was so used in so many different positions, whether it was with injuries, whether it was just makeshifting to change a different formation or setup. Jaden Nelson is a very versatile and exciting player on the ball or off the ball. Works so hard, and he's so exciting to watch, I personally feel. Whether he plays at left wing or right wing, down at number 10, or even dropping down to the number 8 position in center mid, Jaden Nelson always very much did impress me in most of his appearances. Yes, he's still very young and he's very raw at some points of his game, but he's predominantly, of course, a left winger, and he is very much a great footballer, and I'm very excited to see what he can bring to the Norwegian First Division with Rosenborg. It's, of course, a great signing. We're getting another Canadian in Europe. The more talent we get, keep getting and feeding into the European footballing system, the more it's going to help us in the future, especially for 2026, and as the Canadian program keep pushing on. This is a great transfer for Jaden Nelson, guys. We're also going to have another video coming up next couple of days talking about how he fits into Rosenborg, whether it's looking at the system, looking at the shape, the formation, how he might be utilized for minutes, and his competition in, the, in, in of course, that position as well. We're going to break it all down in the next video, guys. Really take a deep dive into how he fits in there and how he might be utilized. Let me know what you guys want to see down below. There's so much Canadian content, whether it's Anthony Jules Vassant or, of course, everything going on with... All of the Canadian stuff going on right now, Matt. There's so much news right now to break down for Canadian soccer right now. And it is so exciting, guys. We're going to try and push on for a lot of videos, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Jaden Nelson. Done deal down below in the comments. Hit that like button and drop a sub. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.